Hey, my planner friends. So as requested, I have an updated what's in my pen case. This is one of my favorites that I've been using for a few years now that I got in Korea, but I actually changed mine to, ta-da, this Muji pen case. Actually, it's a passport holder. I will leave a card up below or a link down below. Um, showing you how I had it set up before, but I've actually switched it up here for work and I enjoy carrying this around. So I'm gonna show you what's inside. It is like chunky to the max, but I actually got a lot out of it inside these clear pocket folders. That's one feature that I like about this holder is that it has this zipper so nothing is going to fall out and everything stays nicely um, put in and here we are on the left side I really like how the Muji holder has these pockets so you actually have three you have this one the second and this third flap within this third flap I just hold some extra post-it notes and index cards for just like reminders or notes to self that I'll then transfer over to my journal. Let me just take all these out here. Tabs, if I want to add them into my planner or my diary, and then my cute little stickers to add for memory keeping. Sometimes, you know, lately I've been having a lot of downtime at work. So if I need to highlight an event or just some memories, I like to use these cute little stickers. They look like, um, kind of like emojis or icons. And then once that's all cleared out, you'll see on this flap, I just hold my binder clips and paper clips. For some reason, they're really hard to find at work. People just kind of, I think, they just go through each other's um, drawers and just find whatever they can. So I don't have a lock at my desk. So I just kind of keep my favorite colored ones um, tucked away here, because if not, they would go missing. And then I have extra post-it notes. Um, and then I drink a lot of tea at work, so the the yoga, the yogi teas, they always have like these cute little quotes and the ones that I really like, I just keep and I will glue them into my diary. Okay, now here, this is a feature that I really like about my pen case, which I didn't really think I was going to love as much as I do, but I'm enjoying these clear zipper pockets. I have them sectioned off. So in the front pocket here, I have all of my favorite highlighters that I like using. These are the ones that I've been uh, rotating on a regular, but I like the mild liners, the blue, the yellow, and this kind of light lilac one is one that I use for daily task keeping and color coding and then this brighter yellow and orange and this bright pink uh, that I use for like work and reports. But these are my favorite six highlighters that I use and I can keep it sectioned off here in the front because I'm always highlighting things. So I keep it in the first pouch here as it's easy to reach. The second pouch are my favorite pens that I use. closer look up here. This is my micron pen that I use for my diary. Actually, I would say these two are the ones that I use. I do take my journal with me, um, my moleskin. If you don't know what that looks like, let me show you. For my regular viewers, you know that I purchased the 2019 daily page moleskin because I loved using my 2018 one so much, but look how chunky and beautiful this is. So there are days that I just have to write down some like running thoughts or ideas, and um, it's just nice to have readily available to scribble down whatever I need to. And with that being said, I like to use comfortable journaling pens. This one has been a favorite for the last few months. It actually writes really smooth and it's easier on my hands given that it's not a fountain pen, but it still glides pretty smooth for a um, ballpoint. So I really enjoy this one and also this is my other favorite. 
it's a small fine tip but this is nice for when I use uh, like my Hobonichi Weeks planner it's just thin it gets in those smaller tighter spaces and uh, the ink is really really dark but it's also the retractable click pen which are my favorite and then this one's my cute little pen that I just carry around because it is again a smaller point pen that I can use for um, tight like square spaces this one I like the Papermate because the four color barrel I can use for color coding so this is what I usually use for my tasks and color coding within my planner which I've actually been experimenting with merging my planner and my diary within my moleskin but I'll be keeping updates um, for my patreon subscribers you already know that I've already done some DIY hacks within here that I'll show in a couple weeks here on YouTube if you aren't already signed up for the Patreon membership. But feel free to sign up if you'd like because I have extra secret bonus videos that I offer along with extra um, blog posts. These are my other pens that I really like using. The Pilot Precise, even though it's not a click pen, I like using it for like reports and circling and checking off items just because the tip is so fine. It's just easy to detail and outline any paragraphs that I need to. And this is just um, a color pen here if I need to have it stick out more than your standard like black pen. So these are the pens that I really like using but at my desk I also keep like those regular cheapy pens that you can find. My good pens though are the ones that I keep tucked in my pen case but there are those times that you know co-workers will ask if they can borrow a pen and when they mean borrow they just forget to give it back. So I have a backup. I actually keep these little cheapy pens here and if they need to borrow a pen or if they've lost theirs or they need one, then I just have like these, um, I don't know if this can focus. The, you've seen these pens. They're like your standard back to school on sale pack. I have these and then whenever I f get like free pens through like advertisers or, um, you know, like at hotels or conventions, they always give out their free little pens. So I hold on to these and I have them in a big can. And then when I go to work, I actually have them in a certain drawer and I keep one here too. So that way I still look like a helpful coworker, but I don't give out my nice fancy pens. Do you guys do the same? Can't be just me, right? And last but not least, in the back, I have the third compartment where I keep extra post-it notes, my page flags, and then this is actually a Muji pen. I like it because the tip is really thick, and I use this if I have to, um, you know, send out any packages or write out any darker labels. It's really hard sometimes finding Sharpie pens because everyone hoards them and hides them and holds on to them so I have my own pen where I don't have to dig around and look for it. So that is pretty much it guys. That is my Muji pen case that I've been enjoying. Oh and in the back I just have some extra little post-it notes too and then a band-aid. <laughs> you never know when you might get a paper cut but I like this pen case because it has a zipper. So if you want to hide anything in here, you see that's where the band-aid's at. Oh, I forgot. And then that secret compartment in the back. I have an extra field notes because you never know. I always have to have an, a notebook on me. That's like my biggest fear, being somewhere and I need to write something down and I have no paper because I just can't rely on my phone. Sometimes it freezes, it dies, it locks up. You know, technology is so unreliable, especially with these system updates. I swear they sometimes make your phone act all wonky so that way you pay to upgrade. But anyway, that is it. That is my updated pen case. Let me know what you guys think. And I will leave the link down below. I think Muji still offers these on their website. So you can check it out and order it too. This is in the dark navy color, but they have black and I believe gray when I went to the store and I saw it. And it does zip all the way up. I will have a what's an updated what's in my bag 
video. I know you, a lot of you guys have been patiently waiting, but um, I will have that. It's a different handbag, and I've been enjoying it because that handbag has pockets. But yeah, that is that, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.